A groundbreaking discovery by Academy scientist Zurai Alemzaged promises to rewrite the textbooks on human evolution. In the August 12th cover story of Nature, Alemzaged and his colleagues report the oldest evidence of stone tool use ever found, a milestone that shatters the previous record by almost one million years. The evidence that we discovered for the earlier tool use are uh, stone tool inflicted bones, which are the result of our early human ancestors trying to carve off uh, meat of the bones. The bones come from a large ungulate, a cow-sized uh, big antelope, and then a small goat-sized antelope. We did some uh, complex ESM analysis. This is like a super microscope to really see the details uh, of the cut marks and make sure that they were made before the fossilization of the bones. Unearthed in the harsh Ethiopian desert in 2009, the fossil bones date to 3.4 million years ago. That's far earlier than the previous record of tool use, also from Ethiopia, but dating to 2.6 million years ago. This discovery changes our view of early human history in other ways as well. Since we are sure that the cut marks were inflicted by a human ancestor, and we know that the only species that existed at that time and place was Australopithecus afrensis, which is a Lucy or the Selam species, we are clearly convinced that the cut marks were made by this species. And that implies that the tool use was not necessarily restricted to our genus Homo, which is what we thought for a long time. By venturing into eating meat, using tools, our ancestors decided really to compete with very dangerous animals. Meat eating was one of the key factors in bringing about the expanded brain that we have today. During the next field season, Alemzaged and his colleagues plan to search the landscape for the remains of the actual stone tools. They want to know whether members of Australopithecus were using naturally sharp rocks or fashioning the tools themselves. When you started the tool use over 3.5 million years ago, you in a way initiated the host of technologies that humans have today, which has become a key criterion in defining what makes us human as a species.